Hey guys, what is up? It is Beast of Prestige, and today we're back with building Prestige Heights in Planet Coaster, and I'm really excited for this episode. It's quite, it's quite a short episode this time, uh, but in this episode we finally do something different that I haven't done in, uh, well, I think I haven't done it this way at all. Uh, I've actually gotten into the modular building, and, you know, as a start for that I wanted to experiment a little bit, so I built a wall segment, and this is basically going to be the main city wall that stretches around the area, and... I just wanted to put in some detail right here and what I had in my head was like if I duplicate this and I edit it a little bit, you know, add some more detail or a light or something like that like you see here a lantern. Uh, basically what I can do is I can actually plop down the uh, the empty module and then you know after like three empty modules I can place down one with a lamp and then keep on going and then also what I did here was like the, well this is the, um, the third module that I made. It was a little bit tricky to do this. Um, because, you know, it, it was this staircase kind of thing that I've seen before, as some people do. And it worked out pretty nicely, but it's kind of tricky to get it in the right place. Um, but this is going to be, uh, you know, where normally uh, soldiers will be able to access the actual walls, you know, to defend the city or do patrols or something like that. And um, I felt like, you know, I have to make such a module like this um, because, you know, normal city... Uh, city walls would have had this and I'm pretty happy with the result now in a moment You'll see me plop them down and what I like about this modular thing right is all the walls are straight There are curved walls in the game, but they are only like one tile wide um, You know the radius is one tile, so I don't really like that too much um, But what you can do with this is you can actually place them and when you place them You can just rotate them a little bit and then place the next one right against it and that way it will look kind of like a curved wall and you will see that in, I think, about uh, a minute or so. And I hope you guys like it. Now, you know, this is a little bit of a, you know, a different thing. Because right now, I'm working on multiple parts of the area. I'm not really focusing on, like, the queue for the coaster or the station for the coaster. Uh, I'm basically just going around the area, just trying to fix stuff up. Now, here you can see the curved wall. And in a moment, I'll actually go and work on the main castle that's going to be on top of the hill. So it's not really, you know, it's not really focused on one point of the park right now. It's kind of just a little bit of mumbo jumbo of um, just doing different parts of the castle area. And here you can see me finally fix up one of those castle towers that I made. Um, but now, you know, make one modular so I can place them multiple times and, you know, not have them be in the same structure as the rest of the structure, which was a pain in the butt. Uh, to get that other, like the the one that you see in front right there on the wall that's already there. Um, that one I actually had to copy, you know, separate elements from the other one because it was actually inside a building that covered the queue line. Uh, if that makes sense, you can go ahead and go to previous episode, I think it was, um, to check it out. <laughs> you know, you can see me just screw around with that. Um, but yeah, I decided, you know what, let's just make a new one that is actually like a little bit nicer, has some windows and a door. And I really like the way, uh, you know, I, I just really love the way this modular building works. I think, you know, this game is, I think, going to be exactly what we wanted uh, to have as a new game. Because in the older roller coasters, you know, you had this this really... Um, well, in Roller Coaster Tekken 3, you had this thing where you could blueprint your design. So you could basically just save them and then place them down again. But it was only like a one tile... Um, well, it was limited to like a one tile placement. And that, that I didn't really like, but of course, you know, the normal in-game placement is also um, one full tile for walls and, you know, things like that. Um, but I think, you know, this this game really stepped up the, uh, what we like, what we can do in Roller Coaster. And I really, I really love it. And of course, it's not Roller Coaster anymore because Roller Coaster Tekken World, but this is Planet Coaster, it's way better. Um, in my opinion, at least, you know. Uh, there's still some discussion, I think it is, you know, there is. Uh, but I think everybody can be kind of sure that, you know, this game is going to be the game in the end. And as you can see right now, actually, <laughs> I was very happy doing this. Um, it was still kind of a puzzle. Uh, what you can see me do here is actually place down some floors. And I placed them down in a pattern that makes them kind of look like stairs. But what I didn't really realize was that, you know, you can place these floors in your building, basically, you know, in your separate modular building, and you can place them at one edge, and they're only like half an edge, well, height. So they're basically you can place them every meter of height, but they're only like 500 millimeters. 
tall. So that's, you know, thick. So that's just... It's just really stupid that you can't really place them at a smaller placement. Unless, of course, you place one underneath it, which I realized later. Um, but, you know, I, I think I fixed it up in this video. If I didn't, I'll fix it up later. Uh, but, guys, if you want to do uh, this, well, go ahead and check out my Twitter real quick. Um, if you're watching this, because I will actually be live streaming um, the part where we built the coaster layout. And I'll probably be doing it on the day that I upload this. I'm not 100% sure, so don't keep me to it. Um, but I think I will. So if you check out my Twitter, you can, you know, see when I tweet like, I'm live, yay! And then I post a Twitch link and you can follow that and you can, well, see the stream. And you can check it out. It will be pretty cool, um, you know, to, um, to get some input as to how the layout would work. You know, I, re I would really like some tunnels and that kind of stuff. Like, in the actual ride. Uh, like, have it come down into the dungeons a, a couple of times. But we'll, we'll see how that goes in the live stream. Anyhow, what you, what you see here is one of the houses. And <laughs> I was thinking, like, you know, I want to build a big mansion on top, of the, on top of the hill right there. But then I thought, you know, what do you have? Like, a big, a big mansion is just going to be, like, a couple of straight walls. Maybe some accents to it. You know, a little, um, like, sticking out part of wall. And, you know, it's just going to be just this giant massive thing, which is probably even going to be symmetrical. And I didn't really want that. I don't want it to be a Disney castle either. Uh, but I think in the end it worked out quite nice. What I did was I just built a little house and put it on there. And then what I'm now going to do is basically just go and expo uh, like, basically just extend the building, if that makes any sense. Uh, we'll just kind of like it has expanded, you know, the, the peeps that live there. You know, they they thought like, yeah, we need a bigger house, so just build another room, and then they built another tower, and then they connected the tower to the house, and, uh, and so on and so on. And I think in the end it looks pretty cool, you know, the way that you can build it when you just go along the way instead of just like preparing one part, one big wing, and just copying it to the other side. I think it really pays off to do this like step-by-step -step thing, and also just take a step back from it, you know. Because every time that I finish a part, I focus on something else. Then I do some rock work, and then I do a little piece of wall, and then I do this, and then I do that. And I think, uh, for me, that actually works pretty nicely. Uh, you know, to just... Because when I focus too much on one thing, I just get kind of, you know, overly detailed in one area. And I don't want that to happen, so I just kind of mix it up right here. And this is something I really like in the park. I actually built a, uh, a little bridge right here between two towers. And... I wasn't sure if this was going to work, uh, but in the end it worked out perfectly. Now, just a little balcony thing up here. Um, but basically what this should be is kind of a access to another house, uh, sort of. So another wing to the house. Um, but of course, you know, it's it's not going to be uh, one, you know, as I said, it's not going to be one mansion. It's actually going to be multiple houses, and I'm also going to put paths through it. Now, I was thinking about this earlier, you know, I want to incorporate paths on the hill, um, but, you know, what I saw was that the support killing for the paths is actually really difficult, and that's because you have to place path under it, but since there also, there's already a coaster underneath it, it's pretty hard to place a path there to kill the supports. Because, of course, it has to be underneath the coaster, Elseways, you'll see, uh, still see the support, like, through the scenery. And, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I tried it a little bit, and it kind of failed. Uh, and then, actually, my PC crashed. If you go back to my Twitter, you can actually see the blue screen that I ga uh, that it gave me. But, you know, it's... Um, we lost that, but I, it didn't really work out that well. Now, if you have any, you know, if you have any knowledge on how to maybe support kill a little differently than how I do it, just place, like, a path and a path underneath it, uh, underneath it on the ground level. If there's any other way to do this, uh, please let me know. I, will, I would love to hear it. But, yeah, that was pretty much it for this episode already. Um, so, I want to thank you guys for watching, and be sure to check out the stream. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace from Pieces of Prestige.